Good morning, everyone. It's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. So today we are going to kind of move away from Christmas card making. <laughs> Christmas is only a week away. So I thought I would give you a um, sneak peek of some of the new products that are coming out in 2023. So I have some cards that I created uh, featuring the Share a Milkshake bundle. So this particular bundle is just an adorable little bundle. It's a great bundle for birthday cards, really any kind of cards, but I was really focused on birthday cards just because I have a birthday card making club that I'm going to launch in January. So I thought I would just kind of give you a sneak peek of some of the card ideas, and I'll get these out on my blog later today. And then I'll tell you a little bit about my birthday card making club. So hello, everyone. Hello. So these are the cards that I'll just kind of walk you through today, and they feature all new products. And so here is the stamp set. Oh, we got some paper on there. <laughs> here is the stamp set that I'll be using. It's called Share a Milkshake. And I just really like the ice cream cone, you know, ice cream sundae kind of stuff. So I just thought this would be kind of fun to play with right before Christmas <laughs> instead of Christmas cards. You guys are probably getting a little tired of me sharing Christmas cards. So I thought I'd shake it up a bit with this share milkshake. So there is a coordinating die set that um, goes with this particular bundle. And it's got this cool little ice cream cone and just some like waffle type designs and just a variety of things that you can use to decorate your cards. So, so I'll be using that. And then I also decided to use um, just some of the dies from the color and contour bundle, just in case you're wondering where I got my little scallop dies. And I got my little scalloped uh, rectangles. So I'll be using those like here, this little scalloped rectangle. So I'll be using that today as well. So good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, all right. So let's start. Let's start with this one. I tried to um, put together a variety of different cards so that you can really see what this uh, bundle does. And the other thing is I also am featuring all of the, um, not all, <laughs> I shouldn't say all, but I'm featuring some of the new designer papers. So this is the Dandy Designs designer series paper. So it's front and back. And so I'm using a variety of different patterns from this particular paper pack. This is actually a paper pack that you can get free during celebration. Now, this one is a very thick paper pack. Um, it's 12 by 12 inch pieces. I cut them down to six by six, but it's 12 by 12 inch pieces um, and there's 48 of them. So it's a pretty big pack. So, so this um, has some just really cool spring like designs um, in it. So that's what I'll be using today. So let me make this a little bit bigger here so you can see my project. So this is the first card that I'm going to show you how to make. And again, I'm using that Dandy Designs designer series paper. And basically, all of the card designs are pretty simple layouts. And then I just, you know, put together all the pieces, um, added all the little pieces to decorate my little sundaes or milkshakes. So, all right. So for this first one, now you guys can use these layouts with any supplies you have on hand. So if you're still making Christmas cards, this is a great layout for a Christmas card. Obviously you just substitute in your Christmas paper and a Christmas focal point. Um, so I'm just using white cardstock for the base of my card. And then the first thing that I did is I just added a piece of designer paper to the right side of the card. So this is a two, by five and a half inch piece. So I'm basically just using the front and back. So you can see this, um, this piece on this side is the blue, but on the back of this blue is this particular pattern. And so the next piece that I have is just two and a quarter by three inches. So this is the, the back side of the blue. 
So that's why I said you could use this design really with any supplies that you have. And this is just gonna fit on this side. And then we'll just kind of cover up that seam with some kind of shape. So I'm just using one of the rectangular shapes from that color and contour bundle. And we'll just add that right over the top. So pretty, very simple but it gives you just kind of a, a fun little look. And now we'll put together our little milkshake. So the cool thing about this bundle is it has a variety of different pieces. Um, so if you like to kind of putz with, you know, decorating your milkshake, there's a variety of different little pieces that you can use to decorate it. So there's two different stamp images. I'm gonna show you that real quick. Let me grab it. So there's two different stamp images. There's like a solid one, and then there's this overlay image, I guess I would call it. And um, you can stamp this, obviously, with ink, and then, you know, in one color, and then overlay it with another. But what I did is I just used crumb cake cardstock, and then I used crumb cake ink to stamp my overlay. So I kind of went for the simple, <laughs> the simple way, I guess. So, and then there's a coordinating die to cut this out. So that's our little milkshake. And then um, our milkshake topping here, I just used mint macaron and then um, I kind of did a stamp off technique. So I stamped it and then I stamped it again to get just a lighter color. And you'll notice that on this particular die cut, there's a little like slice here in this in this milkshake topping, <laughs> I guess you call it. And you could put a spoon or a straw, you can kind of tuck it right inside there. So isn't that cool? So you don't even have to try to cut, you know, a little spot in there, you could just tuck it. So I thought that was kind of cool. So what I'm gonna do is just adhere these together. Let's add a little bit of glue behind here. Well, actually, let's just add it across here. I can get my glue to work. So we will turn our spoon and we'll just add this to the top. And then what I like to do is add my dimensionals right away just to kind of hold everything in place. So I am actually like out of birthday cards. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I'm out of birthday cards. So I spent the last couple of days just kind of putting together a variety of different birthday cards. All right, so that's what the milkshake looks like. And then you have these little toppings that you can add. So I got the little chocolate here and I just cut this from some early espresso cardstock. And this just kind of, rests on the top of the milkshake. So you can see how it just kind of comes together. Super cute. <laughs> yeah, it really is a fun set. I really like this set. So let's put this guy right here. And then of course there's a little cherry. So I just have a little dimensional on there. And all these pieces, I stamp them all and cut them out just because, just for the ease in this video. Um, otherwise I'd be spending a little bit more time in this video if I had to cut them all out. So I just cut them all out, um, but you just basically stamp them and you cut them out with the coordinating die. And then I just used one of the, um, greetings that was in the set and I decided to use some early espresso ink and just a half inch wide piece of cardstock. I have a lot of half inch wide strips so I like to use those for my greetings if they'll fit on there um, because then I can use those up. So I just stamp it on the end. I gotta grab my scissors. I just stamp it on the end and then I just snip off the excess. So I don't really measure it. I just 
eyeball it <laughs> and just snip it off. All right, so we're gonna add a couple dimensionals on the left side of the greeting. So these products will be available starting January 5th. These products are from the new Stampin' Up! mini catalog. So that's why I thought I would just share them because January is right around the corner. I can't believe it, but it is. All right. And then I used some of the new, um, new adhesive backed gems. So these come in a variety of colors and they work perfect with uh, these birthday cards that I'm creating. So I just added a couple white ones, the bigger white ones. All right, come up. Doesn't want to come up. Oops. Let's grab my scissors. Uh, I pushed it onto the wrong side. There we go. Okay. All right, so that is card number one. And then on the inside, I just added some more designer paper, just kind of used up my scraps. So it was a great way to use up scraps. And it's super cute. And look how simple it was. Very simple. All right, so let's move on to the next one. I'm going to just set these to the side here. So the next one I did, let's do a purple one. <laughs> So there's just a variety of different patterns. I love this paper pack. I love all the kind of subtle colors and all the different things in this paper pack. So, so for this one, what I did is I just cut out a variety of different pieces. Um, I started with a one by five and a half inch piece of the petal pink. This is petal pink. And then I just cut this little scallop um, from that one inch piece. So you won't actually get a one inch wide um, scallop, if that makes sense. <laughs> but I at least started with a one inch piece so that I could cut, you know, about a three quarter inch wide piece. So, and then the next thing I did is just added some of that pretty paper. So this is just a two by five and a half inch piece. Whoops. And this is just gonna overlay right onto that scallop. And this is the back, isn't that pretty? It's just such pretty paper. I just had to play around with some springtime stuff because it's been snowy and kind of cold here in Wisconsin. So, so I thought, well, I'll play with some, <laughs> some of these new products. <laughs> okay, so that's the basic design there. And then this is just a two by four inch piece of a different pattern. So it's just the purple. This is the fresh freesia. And it's got a really pretty like plaid pattern on the back. There's just so many possibilities, so little time. <laughs> That's the problem. So we'll just layer that on. And then um, this piece, I, I cut a piece of white cardstock let me see how big this is. This is one and a half by two. So this actually was a leftover scrap because this one is a little bit bigger. This is one and a half by two and a quarter. But I decided I'm just going to use this leftover scrap here because it, it'll work. And then I embossed it with a new embossing folder. So this is called the cane weave. It's cane, caning. My dad used to, my mom and dad used to do caning. They used to cane chairs. I actually used to help with that. <laughs> and so I just embossed this little piece of white cardstock and put it right across the center of one. And now you can go ahead and add your focal point. So for this, um, I cut out the little ice cream cone using the die from um, this particular set. So the die looks like exactly like what I have there. 
this is what the the die looks like so it's got the embossing it kind of embosses that waffle pattern right into your cardstock and it also gives you the little folds for your cones so you basically just fold these over to create your cone that's it how easy is that so you just add some glue on the inside here we'll just hold this together and then we'll have our cone and then you can take some crumb cake ink and just kind of highlight some of the areas of the cone you know if you wanted to make it stand out a little bit like i did here you see the difference between the two so you can use a little bit of ink on the edges of the cone just to kind of make it stand out but then there's little pieces that i stamped in this fresh freesia and then these pieces i just cut out with um, the coordinating die and you can just tuck these pieces right inside your cone so i just put them on a little dimensional and just tucked them inside and then this one i just used two Hopefully I didn't mess this up. I think I messed it up a little bit. All right, I have to cut my thing apart. <laughs> I put my dimensional on the wrong side. That's all right. We'll just rub that dimensional right off of there. Do you guys know you can rub your dimensionals off? You can. All right, there's a tip for you. You can rub your dimensionals off. Now let's try this again. What I wanna do is add a little bit of glue here and layer these two together. And now we can tuck it in there. I got ahead of myself. All right, so now we tuck that in there and then i'm going to add i'm actually going to add my cherry off to the side here we'll put it we'll do it a little bit different <laughs> if cherry's falling off and then we'll add our little sunday sunday topping on the top there so that's basically what it what it looks like and you don't have to add two of them in there you can just add one but I, I kind of liked it with two in there. And then we'll just add this right to our card. So probably the, um, this is really easy to put together. It's just, it just takes a little bit of time to stamp everything and cut it out, but it's definitely worth it because these are just really cute little cards. All right, so then the last thing I did is just with this little greeting, I stamped it on that scrap piece of white cardstock. And then I just took a half inch wide piece of designer paper and did the kind of the same thing I, I did when I stamped this. I just adhered this to my designer paper, just kind of like to the bottom. So that I have, you know, a little bit of um, color behind my greeting and then I just snipped off the end so that's a great way to use your designer paper just to kind of highlight your greeting so we are going to put some dimensionals over here and then we'll just add our greeting And that's it and then you can add you know little embellishments and I ran out of white <laughs> white twine so I happened to have some twine left over I think it was from a paper pumpkin kit or something so I just used it there and then on the inside again I just kind of decorated it with some designer paper and then I you can stamp a happy birthday message or whatever kind of message you want to stamp on the inside so all right, so that is the second card. Oops. And then this next card, we'll go back to blue. 
This next card I kind of did, um, used a couple of the Sundays and did a little bit of stamping with the, uh, the little hearts that come in this particular set. So I'm using Balmy Blue. So let me grab the Balmy Blue. And here's where I did, let me get this on screen. So here's where I did some stamping off because the blue comes out pretty dark, but if you stamp off, then you get a little lighter image. So I just kind of did the stamping off so that I had a little bit of lighter color hearts in the background here, or I should say on the side. So stamping off is a great way to just kind of get a lighter version of, you know, the color that you're using. So this is balmy blue, like I said, and I just have a scrap piece of paper that I stamp off on. This is creating kind of a fun little design over on the side. <laughs> I may have to use this for card making after this video. <laughs> now this kind of created a fun little cluster there. All right, so that's basically what I did, just stamped down the sides of this piece of paper. So this is just three and three quarter by five. And then um, I took a one and a half by five inch piece of the designer paper and put it right down the center. So that goes right down the center. And then this is a four by five and a quarter inch piece of balmy blue. And so this one is where I'm gonna put my piece of paper that I just stamped. And then we'll just kind of create um, the rest of these pieces. But before I do that, I'm gonna take some twine and I'm just gonna wrap it around here twice. You guys know me and my twine. Paper tearing twine. So this is actually um, Tahitian Tied. This is the twine from the uh, ink colors, but it really goes well with this balmy blue and you can't even tell that it's a different color because um, it looks pretty much the same. So I thought I'd use that. So I'm just gonna tie a bow here before I decorate. So I like to tie my bows upside down because they seem to lay better. And then I just use a little glue dot to just kind of hold them in place. So I put it, I put a little glue dot like right underneath that knot. If I can get it off my finger. There we go. And then that just kind of holds it in the spot that I want it. And then we'll just trim these down. Okay, so now that we have our little bow on here, now we can go ahead and add the other pieces. So I just have some vellum because you guys know I like to use my vellum lately. So I have a two and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece of vellum. So I'm just gonna add this right in the center, hopefully. right under that glue dot. And then I just have um, some circle shapes. So you can use the layering circle dies or the stylus shapes dies and create a set of circles here for the center. 
And so this is gonna go right here in the center. So I'm gonna pop that up um, simply because we're going over some twine. So that's why I'm gonna pop it up. So we'll just add that as our little focal point. And, and then I just have the pieces. So I just stamped um, a couple little Sundays. So the little Sunday cups have these little overlays on them. So I just used crumb cake ink and then that stamp image to just kind of give that shadowy look behind it. I'm just gonna add, whoop, add my Sunday toppings. And then, so I have one in the balmy blue and then I have one in the mint, just to kind of coordinate with the designer paper that I'm using. Let's add some dimensionals to the back. All right. I had glue everywhere, all over. It's like, as soon as you add that little fudge topping, it just kind of comes to life, <laughs> I think. All right, so we'll add this. I just kind of offset them a little bit on the circle. We'll just kind of tuck this one, whoops, in there. And then I did the same thing with this greeting. This greeting I just added to a piece of designer paper, just a different color, so that I could pull out this color, you know, out of the designer paper. So I just kind of matted that out, snipped off that extra. And then this just goes on this side. I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit. So we'll add a couple of dimensionals right here. Because that's where I want my greeting. And let's do it there. And then there's that little spoon in the in the stamp set and in the die set. And so you can just add this little shadow image there by stamping it. And then I just added the spoon on the side. Just as like a little embellishment. So isn't that cute? I just think these are so cute. I had a lot of fun. I created four cards for you guys today. And then for my birthday card mating, making club, I created um, eight more. So I have a total of 12 cards that I created with this particular bundle. So if that gives you any indication of how much I like it. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so that is card number three. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. I just kind of carried over the hearts onto the inside. So super cute, a lot of fun. All right, so that is card number three. And then the last one that I have for you is just um, a card that I created using up some scraps. So I decided to use, a, since I was cutting this paper up a lot, I decided to use up these scraps. So, um, I'm going to show you a fun little trick too. <laughs> so, all right. So what I have here for scraps is just a one by three and a quarter inch piece. So that's, that's this piece up here, one by, so it's one by three and a quarter. And then this piece down here is uh, two by four, I believe, two by four. 
And then this other piece is just, I think it's a three by three. It is, this one's a three by three. So it doesn't quite fit, but that's okay because we're gonna put this across, um, you know, the, the, the center where the seam is. <laughs> so even if your scraps don't completely fit, that's okay. Because you can design things to cover up those spaces where they don't fit. So I thought I would just kind of show you guys that, that not all your pieces have to be perfect. You can just use what you have. So let's put this here. So like I said, it doesn't quite fit, but that's okay because we're going to add some of those little scallops. So I cut two scallops and I actually had two pieces of white cardstock where I cut these together so that they're exactly the same. You know, I didn't cut one and then cut another. I cut two pieces of white cardstock at the same time. So this is just gonna go up at the top. And then this one is going to go right across that spot where we're missing a little bit of paper. So, like I said, you can use your scraps, even if they don't completely make a full puzzle, I guess, I guess that's what you would call it. <laughs> so there you go. So what a fun little design, right? And we were able to use up our scraps. And then of course I have my little, um, my little Sunday cups here. This time I didn't stamp the um, Sunday. I just cut it out of cardstock. So this is petal pink cardstock. And then this one is the fresh freesia. You just adhere them together. And then I just add a couple dimensionals to just kind of hold them in place. So we'll add these little guys right away. So we'll add one right there. And then we'll add another one over here. Let's put it closer. And then again, we just decorate our little Sundays. So super fun. I really like this bundle, as you can tell. <laughs> I know four cards was probably a, a lot to do. It's already a half hour, but I try to keep these videos to a half hour. All right, and let's add our little cherries. So the cherries I just have on dimensionals. <laughs> You're craving ice cream now. Sorry. <laughs> uh, there we go. And then we'll add our greeting. And then of course you can add, you can embellish it however you want. You know, you can add whatever kind of embellishments you want. I added a couple little embellishments here on that scallop piece. But, and then on the inside, I just, again, just used up some designer paper on the inside. So just really cute and just a kind of a fun way to use this set. All right. So let me bring these cards back so you guys can see them. So for those of you that are um, just joining, that's okay. I will have all of these cards out on my blog. So you can take a peek at um, this new bundle of products. It really is a fun little bundle of products. <laughs> Someone said they're trying to lose weight. Don't worry, this, the, <laughs> you don't have to eat the cards. <laughs> um, they're just cards, so you won't gain any weight making ice cream cards. You should be good. Um, so what I wanna show you guys is uh, 
these are the cards, obviously, that I just shared with you. Um, but I do want to give you just a little sneak peek of my birthday card making club. So let me come back on line here somehow. Let's see. There we are. Hi, guys. All right. So these are the cards um, that, like I said, I'll get them out on my blog. I'll put all the measurements out there. So when you guys, um, when the catalog goes live, you can always have this as a reference. Um, you know, look back to these card ideas. But I also created some additional cards featuring this set. And these are all the cards that I created um, for the birthday card making club. So what you'll notice here is there's this little waffle cone kind of die cut, I guess. So I have uh, eight different card ideas, all featuring this particular bundle. And um, I'm really looking forward to my birthday card making club. It's a lot of fun. You get um, a tutorial for all eight of these cards. And then you get, um, in the mail, you get a package that has your card making kit. So um, the card making kit includes uh, all the supplies that you need to create 12 cards. So you create three of each of the first four designs in my tutorial. And the last four card ideas in the tutorial are just bonus ideas for you to use um, with the extra supplies that are in your kit or with any other supplies that you have. So, so I always have a lot of fun with my birthday card making club. It starts in January. It runs for three months. So January, February, March, you can participate in one month or you can participate in all three. If you participate in all three, then you get to choose a stamp set. I think it was the go-to greetings. There's two different stamp sets you can choose from. Uh, go to greetings and there's another one. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, so definitely check it out. I did link to it in the description with this video. Um, so you can click over to my website, my blog, check it out, see if it's something you're interested in. You do have the option of getting the bundle and the card kit or just the card kit. So take a peek at that and be sure to reserve your spot. We will be starting in January. So um, typically I order the products, you know, like when the, obviously when the catalog goes live, but um, we'll order the products and then it takes me about a week to get them and a few days to just kind of package up the kits and get them out. So, um, so usually by mid month of every month of the club, you'll, um, I'll be shipping out the kits. So, so definitely take a peek at it. Um, and I hope you will join me for this fun little club. So, of course, you will also get celebration items because celebration uh, starts in January and it will be January and February. So two months of the club, we will have celebration. Um, and of course, March, we won't. So so anyways, OK, I babbled enough at you. So go check that out. Um, take a peek at uh, the I do have a sneak peek of all the card ideas for the share a milkshake. Um, birthday card making club. So you can see that out on my website. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of sneak peek and this look at this fun little bundle. Um, it's just, it's a great little bundle for birthday card making. Um, there's Valentine sentiments in there. Um, just general sentiments for sending somebody a card. So it really, there, it really has a lot of versatility. So I hope you take a peek at it. And I think this is my last live for this new year, right? Or for this year, I mean, because next Sunday is Christmas. So I know you guys will be spending Christmas with your family, as I will be. So I won't have a live next Sunday. Um, and then the following Sunday, I believe, is the new year. If I'm calculating that right, you guys. So, so anyways... Um, so I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year. And I hope you will check out um, some of these card ideas. I hope you're excited about the new catalog. Um, I'm really excited. There's lots of fun things that are coming our way. So I hope you guys um, will check it out and have a wonderful holiday season. And I guess I will see you all in the new year. So take care, everybody.